Welcome back to daytime. One of my favorite places to be here on set has got to be in the kitchen. With us today, we've got Paula Roy. She is a food journalist and a creative cook and, of course, host of Paula Roy's Favorite Foods right here on Rogers TV. And with her today, we've got Eric Ziot, who is owner of Divino Wine Studio. Did I say that right? Correct. Fabulous. Yes. We're talking about something that's really exciting that's happening uh, on Preston Street, which would be Little Italy. That's right. Right? So let's talk about the event. So it's a festival or an event called Pres Delicious, and it's happening from July 21st to August the 3rd, and there's nine participating restaurants, and they've come up with special table d'hote or prefix menus at either $28 or $38, depending on the ref restaurant's choice. Incredible value. So you get to taste either some of their best dishes or some new dishes that the chefs have come up with. You get a full meal for an amazing price. So from what I understand, this is something that's sort of common in other areas, and so you kind of went with the idea, you know, took that idea and kind of went with it. How did that work for here in Ottawa? Well, the Preston BIA was looking at ideas to help animate the neighborhood more in summer. It can be a great busy time with tourists, but maybe locals tend to stay away because mm. they think that, oh, I can always go in the fall. So we wanted to come up with something that was a proof, a, pr a proven, proven concept. And so we looked to Toronto and Vancouver where they've got similar festivals and they've been extremely successful there. So we said, let's start small. We'll try it this year. And plans are already afoot to grow it next year. Wow, because, because this, so is, this is year one, so this is the first annual, so That's we're, right. we're, and you're already working on year two. Mm -hmm. So nine restaurants are involved, and so is each restaurant coming up with their own sort of recipe? Are they all communicating so that not everyone's coming up with fish? Kind of, you know what I mean? There's Most of them have two set three-course menus, oh, so nice. there's something for everyone, whether you're vegetarian, pescatarian, omnivore like me, and <laughs> what we've done is we've put all the information together in an online magazine. I happen to have a printed copy here, so inside for each of the participating restaurants, you'll you'll read a bio about the chef and the restaurant and then the menus are listed as well and so that way you can scan them all online at PrestonStreet.com okay. make your choices go online and make your reservations fabulous I'm gonna open one up and see if, if our camera can get that if I hold it still they might be able to get it so you get an idea of who the is it the chef or the restaurant itself that we're talking about generally I interview the chefs to create okay. these pieces and um, sometimes it was the owner and just to understand their so philosophy chef on this side and then recipe and then what they're offering as their special for Pres Delicious, for that that's right. Delicious for the event itself. Mm -hmm. Isn't that great? And they're all in here. So I've just showed one, but you know, all nine restaurants that's that are right. participating. Yeah. Are and in we are here. encouraging people to make reservations. We're anticipating it's going to be quite busy. So if there's a couple you want to check out, you should go online, make those reservations now. And we're really saying it's a chance to either rediscover some old favorites or check out some new spots on Preston that maybe you haven't been to before. Okay. Well, I have to admit, I've never been to Divino Wine Studio. And never reading, seen it. No, well, I've seen it, but I've never been. But I'm thinking, okay, I would expect it. <clears throat> just wine but clearly there's not just wine what are we what have you making today so this is an example of what we're going to be doing on our menu so I took three things um, okay. I mean to start I just plated this right here um, it's our uh, fish torta so we take our uh, fish so this in case it's a uh, Quebec rainbow trout cold smoked it and make it into a torta very simple this time we use garlic scapes so seasonally we change what we use inside usually it was basil for a bit okay. now garlic scapes uh, so simple cake, but then we did a saffron aioli, which we have uh, Quebec saffron again. Wow. So try to keep it as local as possible. What are these pretty things on top? So we have pickled uh, radish and fresh radish. Uh, so you have like, wow. you get a little bit of, you know, yin and yang, a little bit of acidity. And then the flour here is hibiscus flour. We just changed what flowers we get. This one I picked this morning and hibiscus is, uh, is edible. edible. But uh, you don't have to. It looks Please pretty. Please don't come to my house try. and eat my hibiscus. Okay, yeah. people? I, I like my hibiscus. <laughs> then uh, quickly, let's see here. Yes. I have our scamorza in padella, which is a... I say that again? Scamorza in padella. Oh, wow. So it's pan-seared scamorza ch cheese. In padella is in a pan. <gasps> So, so this what is I like a, here, a, a, a cheese? This is cheese from the south of Italy, slightly wow. smoked with some speck. Then we use what's, again, local and fresh. So we have rhubarb and strawberry, macerated in strawberry wine, make a puree, and then you have it here. And then aged balsamic. Let's see if this is going to work. Oh, this we'll morning I had to redo this plate three times because I kept doing this. And we just kind of go like okay, that. Okay, that's glorious. See, you know, if I did that, it would look like a big giant blob. You guys always do that so well. I have been practicing. It oh. doesn't usually work out. Okay, that was well, lucky. it worked out today. Lucky and you. And then our handmade gnocchi. This is almost just past okay, being too. Would you uh, believe it if I said I've never had gnocchi? <gasps> I never know. Had I'm gnocchi. missing out. I know. 
I know, isn't that and terrible? And your carb-loving husband so would love it. So the fun it. thing I about guess. this yes. is my mom and I make all the, the pasta now fresh in-house uh, in the mornings. So your mom and you, you yeah, work so, together? Yeah, okay. and we're not Italian. We just and, French <laughs> and his wife, too. And my wife's uh, oh, no, is like... it's a family business. Yeah, my wife's my boss. Okay, well, that, you know what? Right there I smell success. Yes. That's all I got to say, you know. She always says, find every man there's a more successful or better woman. <laughs> In this case, it's true. Look at so, that. Okay, and then so here we had Chef. Now, remind me what gnocchi is. Isn't that like a isn't that like a pasta thing with something so it's inside? Pasta. It's a little bit less runny. Like I like it a little bit more runny there, but okay. I guess it dried up a little bit since we're talking. Okay. So it's wow. potato, flour, gnocchi. Oh, more potato. potato than flour. Uh -huh. If you add more flour, it gets like more dense. So this way, it's gonna be nice and soft and melt in your mouth. I say, don't use your teeth. Just squish it in your palate, and then it's gorgonzola fondue. So gorgonzola dolce latte cheese. So it's a cow's milk cheeks from the north of Italy, and in between Lombardia and Piemonte, and it's just melted down with a bit of cream, and then we just toss it in there with the radicchio, which would also be from that same area. And then, of course, divino is wine, so the wine. So yep. every dish has a wine pairing, and I have quite extensive wine list. That's incredible. Thank you so much. That's incredible. Now, we've just heard about Divino Wine Studios, but we should mention that the other eight, so let's get yes. those through because they're part of this fabulous event as that's well. Right. So there's um, La Roma. I may not be saying them all right, okay? Well, that's correct. Trattoria Cafe Italia, See, then Divino, funny. then Ivu, I'm guessing that's what Evo. that means, which is Ivo. Okay, yeah. Greek kitchen. Yeah, extra virgin. Il over. Primo, Stone Face Dollies, 268. Okay, I love how they spell that. You have to look this out. 268. Mason Dixon Kitchen and Bar and La Favorita. Mm -hmm. And those are all the restaurants involved in this fabulous event. Yeah. You don't need to buy tickets. That's correct. You just need to go to the website, mm -hmm. right? And you can see and or get this guy here, see which restaurants are participating. That's right. And, um, you know, you can go to all of them, all nine of them, and try Absolutely. everything out in all locations. Fabulous. I can't believe we're out of time. This is happening July 21st wow. to August 3rd. you got lots of time. It smells delicious in here. We're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we're talking about more great things happening in the city.